This is William, the 518 Traveler Sheldon, coming to you from sunny Cohoes, New York. Well, it's not actually that sunny, to be honest with you. Um, Cohoes is just north of Albany, uh, New York, and Albany is the state capital of New York. And I not only do I live here, but I teach uh, at the high school uh, in this town that I live in. And myself and my wife, we have a lot planned this summer uh, as far as traveling. And this is my first uh, video that I'm putting together. We went to Myrtle Beach just this past week, 2021 right after the uh, pandemic hit uh, and we're coming to the tail end of that we're both been vaccinated and uh, I'm doing a video vlog on Myrtle Beach which was absolutely wonderful um, first time we've ever been there and I wanted people to get a perspective of the uh, how much fun you can have from a first time people that I've ever been to uh, Myrtle Beach um, so I've got some very nice uh, footage from Myrtle Beach that I want to show you lots of very fun and entertain entertaining things that we did um, and I hope uh, that you guys will enjoy this video. First, I have to start off with uh, the resort that we stayed at, which was the Coral Beach Resort, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, the amenities there were, were absolutely great. They had an indoor bowling alley, um, but uh, I know recently it was voted the best uh, resort for amenities by the Travel Channel, so it was, really was a wonderful place that we uh, had actually chosen to stay at. My blog. Coral Beach Resort boasts 10 pools, four or five that are indoors and the rest outdoors to keep the family uh, busy. Uh, the splash pad area in particular is absolutely awesome to keep the kids busy in the pool uh, during the summer. The beach itself was just a stone's throw from the uh, actual uh, resort itself and the beaches were extremely clean. Uh, not as wide as the ones that you would uh, see in Wildwood, New Jersey, but nevertheless very, very clean and uh, very enjoyable for all. We bought these rockers uh, before we left New York uh, at Sam's Club, and uh, as you can see, they're very, very comfortable. We got a lot of comments from uh, different people on the beach, right. so they actually worked out really well. And now I want to talk about some of the places that we visited while we were in uh, Myrtle Beach. And I want to start with Ripley's Aquarium. The Ripley's Museum was certainly awesome. Uh, you can see the steam race here that uh, uh, were enjoyable. Whatever you want to do. But I certainly did. And of course the star of the show would be the sharks. Say hello to my little friends. But uh, these sharks are just awesome. It's really, really wonderful place. Uh, this shark right here just laying on top of the glass on the top right there. That's the highlight of the, uh, of the uh, aquarium part. Uh, When we left the aquarium, we were surprised to find another boardwalk uh, just outside, and uh, it was full of all different shops and places to eat, restaurants, uh, uh, had a Dave and Buster's for the kids, um, all sorts of different things that we did not even know had existed, and uh, it actually was very wonderful uh, to walk through and check out some of the stores. It also had an Auntie Anne's uh, that my wife loves her pretzels and got her soda there as well, so that was a, a great thing to see. Um, and you can see here, just something additional for the kids uh, to hop inside that blow-up thing to have some fun. Also right outside the uh, Ripley's Aquarium was Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. And of course they had to play that song when we were walking by, but that was actually just another uh, added attraction uh, uh, that was in Myrtle Beach. And it was certainly uh, a surprising sight and wonderful thing to see. One of the bartenders at the resort had actually told us about a place called the Marsh Walk at Merrill's Inlet. And uh, that was actually just another boardwalk that had a whole bunch of restaurants and little gift shops and things like that that just added to the attractiveness of uh, Myrtle Beach. Pelicans all over the place down here. Um, when we were on the marsh walk, uh, the murals inlet marsh walk that the uh, uh, 
bartender at uh, Coral Beach had told us about from the resort. Uh, we ate at a place called Dead Dogs. I'm going to tell you right now, that food was really, really good. Uh, the prices were really, really good as well. And you're going to see some video in a minute of the Boo Boo Bites uh, appetizer that my wife had gotten, that Tara had gotten. And they were so good. Uh, she loved them so much, and so did I, that she actually got the recipe so she can make them uh, for us at the house when we get home. Yeah, we are at the Dead Dog Saloon eating. Where's this place called? The Marsh Walk? It's called the Marsh Walk, right? Morel's Inlet. Morel's Inlet Marsh Walk, and uh, just the other side of uh, Myrtle Beach. It's really nice here. Really nice bar. Really, really great. Got music playing. It's really, really nice. <clears throat> this was my two meat uh, dinner with brisket. I took brisket and. Um, Old Park, which is really good. This is Dead Dogs, right? Dead Dogs. It's really, really good. Tara got a, a nice salad with that. She says the chicken is really, really good. Food here is really, really excellent here. It's nice to have music as well. And this appetizer, this appetizer called Boo Boo Bites actually is really, really good here. Really, really good here. Looking good so far. Yes, it is. Yep, thank you. There were tons of other places that Tara and I just plain didn't have the time to visit. There were tons of water parks and mini golfs and waffle houses and all sorts of different types of restaurants and, and uh, uh, breakfast houses and uh, t-shirt places and uh, all sorts of markets, uh, Walmart, uh, just everything that you could just imagine down here to, to do in the warm weather. Uh, the uh, Myrtle Beach certainly had and if you have a Piggly Wiggly then I guess you have everything I don't know what else you need other than a Piggly Wiggly but like I said just tons of different things to do for us though uh, regardless of all the amenities to us the biggest Peaceful, attraction was the beach uh, like I said before very clean we had 80 degree Peaceful. weather every single day we were on the beach uh, all five days that we were down here and uh, the beach certainly is the biggest attraction that uh, you have in uh, Myrtle Beach This is the outside deck area of uh, the uh, Coral Beach Resort and uh, right straight ahead there you can see um, is one of the 10 pools that the resort has and the bar is on the right hand side there. Uh, please understand there was also another boardwalk that we went to off of a place called Ocean uh, in North Myrtle Beach but uh, for Tara and I it just wasn't our cup of tea. It had lots of um, teenagers up there, lots of loud cars. Um, and yeah. a lot of police presence up there to try and make sure that they keep the, keep the peace. Uh, it just wasn't our place to go, um, so I didn't feature it on here at all. We went up one night for two hours uh, and uh, had some dinner and uh, uh, some ice cream, uh, and we didn't go back after that. Like I said, it just wasn't for us. Uh, but also know that uh, in these uh, vlogs that we will do, uh, any place that we travel to, we are both gym rats and we go to Planet Fitness and uh, any of the cities that we will visit, uh, we will certainly uh, uh, post uh, what we feel about the um, Planet Fitnesses that, uh, that we visit. Uh, Tara's been going to the gym since August and she has lost 52 pounds, so I'm extremely proud of her. Uh, for myself, I've pretty much kept myself in shape most of my life. Um, and so, um, uh, any of the uh, Planet Fitnesses that we do uh, visit, we will certainly uh, uh, rate it. Tara and I both hope that you've enjoyed our, vi our vlog that we put together uh, for our trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina that we took in April of 2021. Um, we hope you find it useful in deciding whether or not you want to visit that area on your vacation. Um, as we said, we definitely would uh, be willing to visit uh, Myrtle Beach again. Uh, beautiful beaches, uh, wonderful people. Uh, lots of restaurants, things for uh, not only for all families, adults, children alike to do. Tons of boardwalks, um, uh, water parks, mini golf, uh, anything to keep you busy. Uh, but again, it's the beautiful beaches that really uh, would draw uh, people into uh, Myrtle Beach. So I hope you found this video um, helpful in uh, deciding whether or not you want to go there. Um, if you like this video, please press the like button down below and feel free to leave any comments at all that you'd like. Um, and it would be nice if you would uh, decide to subscribe to our channel.